Have you ever felt like juggling too many balls at once? Afraid that when you blink, everything can come crashing? You are actually not alone. You are welcome back to my channel. My name is Eko. And today I want us to look at the act of balancing life and work. So if you are interested, let's get started. In our hustling culture, when being busy is worn as a badge of honor, it's very easy to forget that life is not just about work, 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 work. But here's the truth. Mastering the balance between work and life isn't just about managing your time. It's about managing your energies, your priorities, and even your happiness. So how do we find this elusive balance? Is it a myth or we can actually have it all? Today we are not just discussing the strategies, we are going to redefine what balance means in a world that never stops spinning. Let's start with the story. Imagine Kwame is a software developer from Kumasi, Ghana. All right? Kwame loves his job but he also loves painting, a passion he has had since his childhood. Lately, work has consumed all his time, leaving his paint brushes dry and his heart a bit emptier. Kwame's story isn't just unique, it's the beginning of a journey towards balance. Like Kwame, many of us struggle to give life to our passion, our families and even to ourselves. But it's very possible to create a life where work actually fuels our dreams, not just draining them. It starts with setting boundaries, knowing when to say no and most importantly saying yes when it truly, truly matters. So here is my three actionable steps towards starting a balanced life. Number one, audit your life. Keep track on how you spend your days and you might be surprised how the day is going. I actually started auditing my time since 1st January, all right? Now I'm able to account for every second, every minute or every hour. And by doing that, it helps me know if I'm being productive throughout the day. It helps me avoid procrastinating and basically it's, it's really, really fulfilling. Number two is prioritize ruthlessly. Not everything that demands your attention deserves it. Learn to prioritize tasks based on your importance to your personal and professional fulfillment. If you know that some friends are not bringing the benefits, cut them off. If you know that relationship is not bringing benefits, cut them off. Anything that takes so much of your time and energy without adding anything to your life should be reviewed or should be re-audited. Make sure that every moment counts and prioritize your goals. Number three and the last one is embrace the me time. Schedule time for yourself just like you schedule time for any crucial meeting. This is non-negotiable. Make sure that you have time for yourself. Time for your brain, time for your mind, time for your body, time for your spirit, time for your soul. All right. Know that if you would achieve anything is because of how you feel or what you do or who you are. All right. Without you, nothing works. Without you, life stops for you all right so make sure that you set a time to address yourself have time for yourself have fun enjoy life spend time with your family do anything that brings positive energy to you all right have time for yourself in any way balance isn't just one size fits all it's about creating life that feels right for you and remember it's okay to seek help whether it's delegating tasks at work or sharing responsibilities at home, you don't have to, you don't you don't have to do it all. As you wrap up, think about what balance means to you. What changes can you make today to move towards a more balanced life? Share your thoughts and experience in the comments below, and let's inspire each other to have harmony in our hustle. Until next time, see you. Bye.